Hi everyone, I'm going to react it to Attack on Time Season 4, Episode 3. Can't believe this is the final season, man. Okay, last episode. Um, right now, we're still being like acting crazy and stuff. And then um, Zeke assembled everybody and then told them the plan. And they're like, they're going to be uh, having this family called the Tibers or something that has the Warhammer Ten with them. They're going to have them, I don't know, help spread the word about something or other i don't know but the thing is that they're gonna try to go back to paradise island and reclaim the the founding town and all that and as they were having their um meeting the people <laughs> the people <laughs> what's the how are they called again the Marlins were listening in on their conversation. And, uh, yeah. There wasn't really much going on. They just came back from the war and then, yeah, everybody went to their respective homes. And, yeah, Rainer was having dinner with his family. And then we were saying something about how the people in Paradise are, like, this evil person. But then whatever he was describing just didn't make any sense. So, yeah, and I still don't know what the heck the, the, the people inside Marlin, like, why are they helping the Marlins, the Eldians, why are they helping them, I still don't get it. Hopefully, I don't know, this episode is going to shed some more light into that because I really don't get why they're helping them. So, yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini, where you can find early access to all my animes and full lengths and full on the next poll, which <sighs> attack on time, like, coming to an end, I'm going to need a new one to replace it. So, yeah, check out my Patreon. And now let's start this episode. And here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Is that a little Reiner? A quote. Reiner's, Reiner's father was Marley. Okay. Does you becoming a warrior mean you become a warrior and somehow I don't think so? Oh, look at little Annie over there. So he was crazy even since then. Is that the dude that um, Emir ate, right? Are you sure? Oh, uh, were you just playing and not listening? What the heck kind of card is that? The face is growing curses. This is my last war. I love that the intro to the final, the give it to hope, is not spoilery at all. Oh, pure titans. Okay. Now I get it. Oh, 
The cart. Okay. What does he keep saying sorry? He was the same one that said sorry the last time, right? He's still not gonna accept you. He didn't want him to become a warrior, get the power, and then die in like 15 years. <laughs> oh, and then he he shows up and then eats him. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Marcel. Where, where are Berto and Annie? Okay. Oh, so he ran. Girl, calm down. Huh. Are you freaking kidding me? For real? What the heck? Oh. 
Oh yeah, they did say that they can predict the weather based on how. What the freak, Annie? So her and uh, <sighs> Diva are cousins or something? Who was that about to kill themselves? So Rana was about to kill himself? Why? Because he was tired of it? Why does this guy's voice sound like Aaron? I am confused. <laughs> like, I want to say that the dude, the guy that was speaking at the end there is Aaron. But then I'm like, why would Aaron have lost a, a leg? <laughs> you know? And what would he be doing in Sir Marley? How, how, like, how much time has passed? I don't know. Just my mind is just... Oh no, it's not working properly, I feel like. Bruh. This is error, right? <laughs> I feel like I need to go back and look at a, a clear picture of error and compare him to this dude, man. Because I feel like... Show me your eyes, man, Aaron. Bruh, your eyes are green. Okay, green eyes here, and then... What the freakity frack is going on? I am so confused. Because I'm just like... Like... Like I said, the dude's voice sounded like Aaron's voice to me. And then, at first, the one actually showing the guy's face, and then he was talking and talking and talking, and then by the end there, they zoomed in on his face, and then that's where the episode ended. So, I'm like, is that Aaron? And then I went back, 
you know, you know, in the same episode, Aaron was there. They, they were showing the back flashback of you know Aaron and Rainer, Rainer like giving Aaron advice and everything, and then I sort of like just want to see his eyes too. And his eyes were, were green, and these two's eyes were, were green. They sort of have the same voice, they sound the same to me, but then this guy's hair is like longer than. Oh, of course, that that one's flashback. But then, if this dude is Aaron, and that's Colt sitting beside him, and Colt is trying to get the unwritten, that means it's after... <sighs> like, he's still going through the training or whatever that he needs to go to so that they can select. You know, like, right there he was talking about Gabby and how Gabby is the one that's most... Um, favored i guess to get the armor tan if this dude is <laughs> i don't want to waste time talking about this if i'm completely wrong but if this dude is Aaron, how did he lose his leg what is he doing there because it's like he faked his memory loss or something to be there why is he there and if that's Aaron, then shouldn't his leg have grown back since he's a ten? I don't know. I'm confused. But the before I start this episode, I was like, okay, these people give me answers as to why these people are doing whatever they're doing for my lands. And then they started what. Well, Reiner's sort of like backstory and it seems like his father was Marlene but then maybe they learned he learned that they were Eldians and then like stayed away from them left them behind abandoned them something and then based on what the mother said he was thinking that if he becomes a Marlene warrior that they'll be like honorary more lands so that will make his father come back or something and they're gonna become like a real family and i'm like boy these people hate you it doesn't matter if he becomes honorary more lands or whatever they are still not gonna accept you like they might fake it on the surface but underneath, they're still going to be hitting you. So you can do all of these things. It's not going to change their mind. And then they showed when like all the people that got the powers, the, the 10 powers, like all the candidates or whatever, they showed them, and Marcel was also there, and Marcel and Porco are brothers, right? And Porco was telling Marcel that he's never going to be chosen because he doesn't have this, he doesn't have this, he doesn't have this. And as he was citing everything that he doesn't possess, they were sort of like... Um, so this, he said that... Um, Rhino is not good at martial arts. And then at that martial arts coming, they zoomed in on Annie. So I feel like whatever it is that he said before that, they were zooming in on each person that had that particular quality. And then it's like, Rhino doesn't have any of those things apart from his zeal of wanting to become a Marlene warrior and that his hatred toward the Eldians and stuff inside Paradise. So... Apart from that, he doesn't have anything else. So he's saying that he's never going to be chosen as the armor 10. But then he wound up being chosen. And Poco didn't get why that happened. But then Marcel explained it to him that he made Marce he made Reiner look good in front of the Marleans and made his brother look bad so that he doesn't get the power because <coughs> once you get the power after 13 years you're gonna die so he doesn't want his brother to die so he set it up in such a way that Rana received it and then right after he said that he apologized and that's when Emil showed up and ate him and got the power away and then took the jaw turn away right and then after that, 
Ronald was having this. I feel like he always has this ex- existential crisis. <laughs> I don't know. Just I'm trying to sympathize with Ronald's plight, I guess. But I don't know. It just doesn't. I don't know why I don't feel bad for him. I feel like the show is trying to make me feel bad for him, but I don't know why I don't feel bad for him. Like, I don't get it. (laughs) And then Annie was just like, okay, we're just going to go back because without Marcel, Marcel is the one that has, you know, like the tactical stuff. So without him, we can't actually do anything. So he's like, I'm just going to go back. But then Rana turned it around on them. He's like, if you go back, who's to say that they... They're not gonna, because in Annie's mind, once they go back and they explain the situation, and they explain that it's Reiner's fault, then they're gonna take the power away from Reiner, right? And their um, Bertolt and um, Annie are gonna be okay. But then Reiner's like, who's to say they're not gonna do the same thing to you? Like he's trying to save his skin. I love when <laughs> Annie was beating him up. And then she's like, Marley and the Eltians, like they are all liars. I love that she said that because I really. I really don't see the positive side of them doing this. Like, I really don't. What's, what does being an already my Marleyans mean? Like, what does that mean? You know? I don't know. But. Yeah. So, is that Annie was following Kenny, right? Wasn't that Kenny? That's his name, right? Kenny? Yeah, Kenny. That was Kenny. So, Kenny is Annie's father? And since Kenny is Levi's uncle, that makes Levi and any cousins? Are you kidding me? Like, how, how the heck do these people come up with this stuff, man? Like, how can I ever think in a million years that any is related to Levi? That thought will never cross my mind in a million years. But that's what they showed here. Like, she's related to Levi. Oh my freaking gosh. And we still don't know what happened to her. Like, she was captured in that one episode, and that's the last we heard of her. So, where is she at? What's happening with her? I don't know. (sighs) And then all all of these things are happening, and then Bertolto is just, like, there watching stuff happen. And then there was this dude that tell, told this story about how um, this time show, uh, showed up and then he sort of like ran away, leaving his three kids behind. I guess they got in, I'm assuming. And he felt bad about it and then like he felt guilty and then he killed himself. He hanged himself, right? And Bertolt is like, he kept thinking about that. Like, why did this dude tell us this story before he died? There was no uh, no resolution to that part of the story. Like, why is Berto stuck on that story? You know, like, I don't know. But, yeah. I love that they went back. Oh, now now I know what that time's name, (laughs) that time's called. I I kept saying the four-legged time, but I never knew, like, its actual name. But I guess it's called the cart. I love that they went through all these all the different um, times and why they chose whoever they chose you know for that particular um, time I love that (sighs) what else I also love that they showed how like sort of basically like how the story went from the perspective of Reiner and Annie and Bertolt like how they infiltrated how they broke down the walls and all that love that they showed that <laughs> who 
is the dude at the end, man? I feel like it's Aaron, but I don't know how it's good. How is Aaron? Is it Aaron? Is it not? I don't know. What else? Is there anything else that I should talk about? I feel like there was a lot of explanations or like a lot of stuff going on in the episode. Oh yeah, and there's the part where um, Rainer was about to kill himself. Why? I don't know. Maybe because he was tired of, I don't know what, living the life that he's living. Maybe. And he was about to kill himself. And then he heard Colt say that, you know, um, at the rate that he's going, he won't be the cut. And then that sort of like snapped him out of it. And he's like, he still had these kids, I guess. I still have them. For what? Like, I still have them for what? I don't know. Am I supposed to feel bad for Reiner? Like, somebody tell me. Or is, is anybody out there that's not feeling bad for Reiner? So that I don't feel like I'm alone in this? Because I feel like the show is trying to make us do that. I guess they're trying to make us understand where Reiner is coming from. But from what I have seen, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I just see him and I'm like, this dude is crazy. <laughs> Because even before they even chose him as, you know, as him becoming the armor tiny, he was, he still had that, that crazy look in his eyes. I don't know. And then what does he want with them? With the kids? Is he trying to pass on his craziness to them? <laughs> okay, let me just stop right here. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see the next episode right now you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash and you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye